Hello, everybody. So a lot of you have told me that doing my Sonic. Uh, sorry, guys, I got a little gas in me, you know. Sorry. So if I'm pausing a lot, uh, that's just me dealing with a gas bubble. Um. So, anyways, like I was about to say, you know, a lot of people are like Sonic doesn't need a. A lot of people are like, I don't want you, you know, you shouldn't do a freaking reboot of, so of Sonic saying, you shouldn't do this and blah, 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 and Sonic doesn't really need a story. I'm like, guys, Sonic can have a deep story. You just, people have to actually give it a try. And not that, not that contrived bullshit that was in... Sonic 06. I mean, like, actually try. And that's what I'm doing. I'm trying. <clears throat> I'm looking at various things in the Sonic universe that never really got explained, and in Son Sonic Freedom Fighters, they're gonna have their own little explanation. Like, who, like, how were the Chaos Emblems created, whole bunch of stuff. And a few other things. So, you know, I'm doing a lot of different things, but I really hate when people say Sonic doesn't need a story. Guys, I'm not saying, I mean, to me, Sonic does, because we've been doing games in the main series for, like, I don't know how long, and the only serious one we really got was, um, the only serious one we really got was Sonic, uh, was Sonic Adventure 2, and I really do feel like they could actually you know we could actually get a deeper story out of Sonic you know I know that's what the comics are for but I'm just saying let's, I'm just saying the games could probably do that too if they if Sega would just try you know but they're playing it save the Sonic because you know they lost a lot but still I'm just saying Sonic Sonic can have a deep story I'm not saying it's going to be, ha I'm not saying my thing is going to be like Evangelion style, uh, fisting philosophy, fisting, fisting philosophy in your faces. No, but it's going to have, it's going to have a story and it's going to have what it needs, you know, to be a good story. So, I want you all to know that. But it just, like I said, it just ticks me off that you guys think scientists need a story. In all due respect, I think he does. You know, a lot of people say, like, I don't look for Sonic for the deep story because there isn't one. And yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll admit, there wasn't, there's, there hasn't been a lot of deep, you know, a lot of, like, deep stories about Sonic in the games. And I think, you know, like I said, um, uh, a while ago when I looked at Shadow 759's video, uh, when he was doing Sonic Reminiscent. I, uh, I think I did a video on that and said, you know, this is what I would have wanted both Generations and 06 to be. But that never, ha but that never happened because Sega just, mm, they don't want to take risks. They don't want to take risks with their, you know, IP. And I understand that. I understand that. I ain't gonna... I ain't gonna fault them for being, you know, wanting to play it safe. And, uh, you know, you know, now, now that, uh, the whole Ian Flynn, I mean, the whole Ken Penders thing happened, I don't think they're ever gonna really do a set of end thing, because they want, they, they don't wanna piss off, uh, or get any people, any people that used to work for the old Archie Sonic comics to, like, come back and sue them. And... Um, you know, it's just how it is. A lot of people want me to look at, um, the, the thing of why RT sucks, and I will, I will today, I will probably do a little broadcast, I will do that today. I just really don't like this dude that always said RT sucks, because he's like, he's like, oh, Sonic and Sally are un- are incompatible. They're in, they'd be incompatible in real life. You know, man, couples can work it out. I feel like, you know, Sonic, if Sonic and Sonic were real people, 
you know, despite their arguments, despite their fights, they find ways to work it out. You know? But you're like, but this dude's like, ah, I hate Archie, but uh, it really pisses me off. I just, you know, like a lot of things that really do piss me off. I keep saying it really pisses me off over and over again, but, you know, seriously. Like, you know, I do feel like Sonic needs a story. I do think if Sega could put the effort in, they could do it. But I don't think there's ever going to be a Sam game. I mean, freaking the Sonic Dark Brotherhood was supposed to be the only, was supposed to be like probably a gateway for another sub Sonic series or another thing as spinoffs. But that didn't do so well, so we only got the one game. I think Sonic Chronicles was going to be its own series, but. You know, it didn't do so well. The viewers didn't like it. But you know what? I sure did. You can say whatever you want about that game. You can say, oh, you're using the touch screen for most of the action. Guys, the DS. Back in the day, the, the first DS, it was known for shit like that. I'm sorry, guys. Half the, half the games on the old DS, like the real old DS, they didn't even really use the buttons half the time. You had to actually use the touch screen. You know? I'm not trying to be like, oh, you guys don't know what you're talking about, but I know, but I'm like, you know, guys, in the old DS, that's just how it used to be. There was no buttons. That, was one, that game was like one big gimmick, and you know, although I do hate it because I do, I mean, I do hate it a little bit, but what, but what Sonic, Sonic the Dark Brotherhood, Sonic Chronicles the Dark Brotherhood was trying to do, I respect it. I respect it because they were just trying to put the, they were just trying to put the, um, the comic universe kind of in the Sonic universe. And I liked it. I liked what they were trying to do. But I'm, I just wish Ken Penders didn't fucking sue. So I, that's really what I wish never happens. I mean, I love, like I said, I love new comics. I love how everything is. But I just, it, it, it just irks me. I'm not about to use it just not to use it. It irks me. It just irks me that the comic is going this way because Kim Penders can just be happy that some of his ideas have actu were actually being used in a game. Yeah. Yeah, you say they did it without your permission. But, you know, they're all in the assumption that you actually did sit, you know, freaking, uh, you know, written your uh, rights to the characters to, the, to Archie, so. Yeah. That's what happened. So, you know, I would really like, I mean, the end of it, though, the end of it. Robotnik. I mean, Eggman. The goofy as hell Eggman takes over Sonic's world, which I'm going to call Mobius because god dang. And I was like, and I played it, and I played it all the way to the end, I'm like, ooh, will there be a sequel, 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 will there be a sequel. <laughs> Because, you know, it just, um, it invoked, uh, feelings of Sad AM, you know? Robotnik actually took over Mobius while Sonic was away fighting the, fighting the Dark Brotherhood. And it just, it spoke to me. It was like, yes, this is what Sonic games can be. This is what Eggman can be in a main, so well, it wasn't a main game. This is what Sonic can be in a spin-off series or a sub-series. This is exactly what it can be and what it should be. And, you know, that's what, that's what I really want the Sonic games to actually be. To incorporate, or at least the sub-series of games, to actually incorporate some stuff in Sad AM. But it's never gonna happen because old Ken Penders you know, and I'm, you know, I'm trying not to throw so much hate 
I'm trying not to throw so much hate in in Mr. Pender's way because you know, you know, because you know, a lot of people are hating on him. A lot of people are just you know probably sending him a whole bunch of hate mail. I'm still sending him a whole bunch of hate mail, and you know. Guys, I mean, even I gotta get over it, and we all need to get over it, and we just gotta accept that the comics are what they are, and there, there's really nothing we can do about it, you know, but that doesn't mean the new, the new universe of Sonic isn't bad, far from it, it's actually pretty good. But, I just, you know, when I think about all the characters, and all the storylines, and everything that never got resolved it just it just makes me kind of sad because this it would have been done if they would have just worked if Ken Penders would have just said hey I'll let you use my characters but next time you guys have to really come to me for this you know I'll let you guys finish all the storylines you can do that you're still like in the process of doing and after those storylines are done, I'm going to take my characters back. But I want you guys to finish the stories first before any before I take them away. That's what should have happened. But no, no, that didn't happen. As much as I wish it would happen. Oh well, you know. Hmm. Well, I hate people that say Sonic doesn't, you know, Sam doesn't need a reboot. Yeah, I think it does. You know, I think it does, and I think it could work. You know, I'm willing to go the extra mile, man. I'm willing to go the extra mile that freaking Sega dares not to go because they're, you know, they're they're afraid of like alienating their audience. But the thing with me is. I, you know, this is a fan, this is a fan series, I'm not making any money off of it, it's not like I'm making a game of it, and even if I was, it would still be a fan thing, and I wouldn't, like, pay money for it, so there's really no technical risk in doing what I have, doing what I'm doing, and I want to show, I want to show Sega, Sega of America and Sega of Japan, that this can can actually work. People still care about Sega. A lot of people still do. And if this series goes well, maybe I can take some of what, some of the views and numbers I have and analytics from from those episodes and show them to show them to the Sega representatives and that, you know I'll be like, look. I know you guys are not going to want to do this. I'm going to have to need, I would need a translator to talk to some of the Sega representatives. Like, Sega Japan, I'd be like, look, I'm not saying, I'm not saying I think you guys suck or anything. It's just like, I think this could work. You know, I think this could work. I think maybe somewhere down the line, you know, you can have a second show on Cartoon Network, and that could be like, that can be Sonic Freedom Fighters. You know, my thing will always be like a fan series, a precursor to, to your show. But, you know, I think it can happen. I mean, you've gone a lot deeper. I mean, Target Network has gone deeper and darker with um, Venture Time, a little bit with Steven Universe, so it can totally happen. You know? And these numbers prove, and to Sega, to the Sega representatives in, to the Sega representatives, I, you know, that are in charge of the game, they'll be like, look at these numbers. Look at all these people downloading these Sonic fan games and tell me, tell me that Teddy M is irrelevant. Tell me that the people on Fuse for se Fuse, fans for set fans 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 united for set AM are not are not right. Tell me the numbers tell me tell me if the numbers lie. 
you know, I just want to show Nintendo that technically, Saturday M is still technically relevant. It's still, it's still a thing, you know. That's what I really want with this series. And if not, if I can't give it to, if I can't show it to Sega, or any of the representatives, or anybody in particular, it would just be our show, guys. Our show, I do for you guys. Our, our show, that I also do for myself. Our show, that not, that doesn't make me, uh, makes me grow as a writer, and as a guy that just loves Sonic to death. And you know, I hate when people say, Oh, Sonic is dead after freaking Rise of Lyric. I'm like, Okay. If you want to jump ship, fine. Just, you know, just don't, just don't try to convince people to jump ship with you just because you're, just because you're just like, I'm done with Sonic. No, you're done with Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. That wasn't even like an actual... That was not even like a main series Sonic game. That was just something. That was just a sub series. And yeah, it will probably come back. But I think Sonic and any big red button still on board. They're gonna learn from their mistakes. Hopefully, if if Sega gives them another chance. And yeah, I think that will happen. Um. Now for other things. A lot of people say like. And Kerry Toriyama should, like, make a series. Oh my guys. Guys. He should. But, you know, he wants to make these movies. And I say, you know, if he wants to make Dragon Ball Z movies, let him. At least we're getting something. And people are like, what if, like, Kerry Toriyama, like, what if, what if freaking, uh, they got a body they still do a series, but Kira Toriyama, like, looks everything over. And then people like, oh, because that's how we got GT. See, how we got GT was, you know, he didn't... Kira Toriyama, from what I know, didn't have a lot of involvement. Only did a few things in GT, but didn't really have a lot of involvement into the show. And I think if they did do a series in... Territory on was a little bit more hands on with the series. He'll just tell they'll just tell them, you know, this is what I want you to do. This is what should be done. This is what this character should be doing. This is what should be going on. This is how you advance the plot. This is how you do this and this and this and this. You know? And and I still love GT. I don't care what any of you you DZ YouTubers say. Honestly, I enjoyed it, and yes, I know it's not canon anymore, but still, that doesn't stop me from loving it. I'm sorry. You guys may think it's cheesy, you guys may think it's stupid, you guys may think it's a whole bunch of other things under the sun, you may think it's the worst thing ever, but I enjoyed it. And yeah, yeah, it was a little cheesy, but I enjoyed it. Freaking Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball itself was a little cheesy within itself. But it was still enjoyable, folks. Whether you see that or not. And I wish you did. And I swear and I swear. I swear by the scruff of my soul patch right here. Tom and Mary better be freaking canon and better be in the better be in the next movie or something. I want them to be in something after after Xenoverse. Like tell a rebuild mirror, but then they then they like bang and have a kid. I don't I don't know how I don't know how that would work. Like she just builds mirror again, and then and then they just bang and then I don't I don't know. Maybe that's some Xenoverse two. But you know Xenoverse as a whole is pretty good. And trust me, I'm gonna get closer and closer and closer to my review. Don't you worry. While I'm still here, though, I did play a few Five Nights at Freddy ga Freddy games on Little Big Planet. Two that were the basic re basic ports of uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. 
one and three. I don't know why the person didn't make two. I guess that would have been a little too hard for him. Um, but still, I enjoyed I enjoyed these two little ports of uh five nights of Rage one and three. It was um I don't know, I don't know, it's been a while since I played one in a while, and it's still fucking scary to me. Like, you know, like, freaking, night two is still the most scariest thing in the world to me, because everybody's moving, and, um, everybody's moving, you know, you know the deal. I didn't even do night three, but I know that's when Golden Freddy shows up. Night four and it's either night four or night five, but I remember Golden Freddy shows up at some point. And then I played five, a long night at Freddy's, which is like you're able to move in other rooms, and you're supposed to check around in the rooms, but you're not supposed to flash your light at Freddy or any of the animatronics, or they will kill you. It's not like an actual jump scare to just go like this, and then it, and the screen flashes red. But if you guys are thinking like it's a weird, creepy pasta kind of thing, uh, no, it's it's not that. But uh, yeah, I'm playing a lot of I'm playing a lot of little big planet. I was giving Xenoverse kind of a break for right now, um, so I've been playing a lot of little big planet. So a lot of more more reviews of like levels and stuff will be uh will be done will be done shortly and those are you know those little things are like little mini reviews and various other things I can just like pull and talk about and tell you how fun they were by this range was still fun and scary as a all oh, fuck and playing playing Five Nights at Phase Three, playing the Five Nights at Phase Three ports on Little Big Planet was pretty much the same. They the guy that was trying to do like the little like the toy animatronics parts in the crate did not look right, but you know it's Little Big Planet, so what do I expect? Um, yeah, but they use kind of like sort of like they use. Like, I saw a JPEG, like a blurred kind of JPEG from Springtrap. Everything else kind of looked okay. But it wasn't like the, it wasn't like how Five Nights at Freddy's uh, look, looks when you uh, get jump scared. But still enjoyable. Freaking, freaking, uh, the freaking scariest thing that just reminded me of when I first played Five Nights at Freddy's was uh, when Foxy actually ran and started knocking down my door and you know Chica's right here Chica's on the other side of the other door and I'm like oh shit oh shit oh shit what do I do what do I do <laughs> because you know I'm like oh crap I'm pinned down again <laughs> it's freaking it's freaking maddening because Foxy you know he still goes boom 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 and you know freaking uh, it was like freaking freaking Freddy came out because I ran out of power, but instead of doing the doom 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 doom, it was like doom 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 doom, and then boom, like just Freddy at the screen. No, like ah, just with dramatic music playing as he's doing it. I'm like the killer screen is about the same too. You stepped in a Freddy suit with eye hole with your eyeball sticking out. Pretty much the same thing. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I will see you all later. I'm Bugsy, and I will see you all later down, probably in the, um, uh, broadcast. I'm probably not doing it now, I just did, I, I talked too much, so I may not be doing it today. But I, rest assured, I am gonna look why RG Sonic, RG Sonic sucks again, because a lot of you wanted me, want me to go all ham on this dude. So, I'm gonna do it, and just, just know, there will be a lot of, there will be a lot of swearing, a little bit more than usual, a little bit more of me just going, motherfucker, why are you fucking, why are you fucking looking at Archie Sonic if you don't fucking like the comic? Yeah.
Okay, you. I get it. Archie sucks. You're entitled to your opinion, but it's just the way it's. I'm like Archie sucks. You're entitled to your opinion, but if you hate it so much, why are you do? Why are you doing? Why are you doing this video? Are you doing it for the laws? Are you doing it just to piss off Archie fans? Are you doing this for the views? What are you actually doing this for? Because I don't think it's all for him to just show his opinion. I think there's like more to it. But you know, that's just me thinking that everybody kind of has one ulterior motive. Hmm. Well, I'll see you guys later. I'm Bugsy. I'm your chaotic jester, and I will see you all real soon in the next video or broadcast. And the guys will probably be here too. Actually, Yonki said he'd be showing up, so, yeah, uh, expect that.